In this video, we demonstrate an adaptation of a single display, single user geospatial application for use in a multi display, multi user environment. Our environment consists of a collection of network machines, each running their own instance of Google Earth. Each machine focuses on the same location, and input on one machine is reflected on all the displays. Across displays, we vary the angle, tilt, and overlay so that the group is given multiple views of the scene. For instance, the group shown here sees a bird's eye view on the horizontal table and a three-quarter view on each of the three wall displays. On the first wall, the scene is augmented with 3D buildings. On the second wall, we see roads overlaid on top of the city. And on the third wall, we display the location of private and public schools in the area. Each wall display is represented on the table by a small proxy camera. By dragging this camera, a user may alter the rotation and tilt of the wall display. A tacking gesture on one of these proxies locks the view of the wall in place and breaks the link between the displays. This group can now navigate to a second location to compare these two bridges. As the proxies are manipulated on the table, it is easy to become confused about the relationship among points of view. To help mediate this confusion, we augment the wall displays with a picture of the title bar and navigation bar that are displayed on the table. Multi-user annotations made on the table are geospatially registered and passed to each machine in the workspace. We added a simple telepointer to our application so that touches made on the table to reference certain areas are reflected on each display in the workspace. Many commands one finds in a single user application, like opening this menu of annotation layers, are disruptive to other participants when performed on the table. By synchronizing the state between the table machine and a tablet PC, we allow an individual to perform some of these disruptive commands on a private display so as not to distract other people working in the space. Groups often move from periods of collaborative to periods of independent work. By allowing an individual to work privately on their tablet, we let individuals sketch alternatives before sharing an idea with a team.